Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bahrain Now. With me, your host, Bara Abdullah. We've got a great show coming up featuring great local talents, initiatives, and events from around the kingdom. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, to our next talk. For our next guest, she changes lives. She helps ladies regain their confidence, look good, and feel amazing. She is definitely a wonder woman. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gemma Lilburn, known as Training by Gemma. Well, good evening, how are you? Hi, thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure, definitely. So tell me more about yourself, your journey in the fitness world. So basically, I'm from a corporate background. Mm. I spent eight years um, in banking and finance. Oh, wow. High stress, mm. wasn't connected with my values, and I was really unhappy with what I was doing. Okay. Um, so I decided to go down the fitness route. Firstly, I took up bodybuilding, mm. um, and then I decided to go and get my personal training qualifications. Okay. The bodybuilding, the stress, the food, the workouts, it all added to major stress in my life and an eating disorder. Mm. That's something that had a major hold over my life for a long time. And that's kind of something that I've incorporated into my business to try and help women who have unhealthy relationships with food, mm. to try and promote flexibility in their diet, teach them the right way to eat wow. so that it's sustainable for the rest of their lives. I um, hired a business mentor. Okay. Um, I'm also from a business background, so eight years. <laughs> that kind of helps from the ideas perspective. Okay. I put all of my savings into investing in myself, um, setting up an online business. Okay. Um, through Zoom and online coaching. For all training purposes. All for training purposes. I okay. invested a lot in myself, a ton in my learning, right. so that I could take a woman from A to B from 10, 15, 20 kilos and amazing. get her amazing results. Amazing. And slowly my business started to take off and it grew and grew at such a fast pace mm. um, that I was full in no time. So, I mean, it's a long journey. I've mm. been through a lot. I've been to hell and back, um, but it's, it's mm. helped me to shape my business in a right. way that helps women to change their lives. That's amazing. I mean, what I wanted to ask you is like, back then f uh, fitness was always a thing for you or were there other options? Because you know, you chose fitness and that brought you to here. But what if you had something else? Was fitness always the thing you wanted to do? It wasn't always the thing I wanted to do. It's right. something I kind of just fell into by accident. Right. It all began with my own fitness journey and wanting right. to get fit and healthy. Then it led down the bodybuilding path. Okay. And then because I got myself in shape, I right. started to help friends. Amazing. Um, I did actually work part time in addition to my uh, corporate job at one stage. Mm. I took the time off to study and get mm. my qualifications. So at one stage I had two jobs. I was working in fitness and the banking uh, yeah, industry. A lot. Wow. And yeah, it just went from there until one day I just realized that that was what my true passion was. Amazing, amazing. Wow, wow. And now today you are getting to tell the story right here on TV. That's such yeah. a strong story, you know, one challenge to another by pretty much building a character and now you're helping to change other people's lives. Well, wow. that's pretty cool. I think you can't coach from a place that you haven't been. And I think a lot of my clients, they've struggled with self-confidence. Right. They've struggled with mental health problems. They've struggled with their food. Mm. And because I've been there and because I understand, it makes me a better coach because I can right. empathize with those okay. people. So tell us about your team members. You know, pretty much, you're pretty much leading the business and now you have a team behind you. Tell us more about that. So yeah, over Corona, grew pretty quickly. Um, I was so lucky and blessed hmm. to come across Hannah, okay. who we work together uh, right now. Um, she is a friend of a client and I met her one day um, and we just got chatting. Hmm. I loved her personality. 
We really just clicked. We had a similar ethos around coaching and our clients. And I thought, you know, why not work together and do something really amazing for these girls? Mm. So I worked together with Hannah and I helped show her kind of my techniques and way of doing things. Okay. And the girls love her. She's Amazing. getting fantastic <laughs> results and she's been a blessing, really. Well, pretty much we had a talk with her offset and she is pretty cool. Maybe we're going to have her on for another interview, maybe in part two maybe of the journey. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you said techniques, right? Tell us more about your techniques. What do you do as a coach? Okay, so basically we take a lady who is overweight and sh a lot of these women, they're completely mm -hmm. stuck. They're lost. They've tried everything under the sun, every diet, meal prep companies, exercise, and nothing's worked. Right. So I basically teach them a sustainable way of eating. Mm. Um, I give them all the tools and techniques to kind of make their own diet based around food that they love. Right. Um, we add in a little bit more exercise. We take away some calories throughout a 12 week period to get mm. them from A to B. Um, we try to keep things simple. Okay. We try to give them the control and them the flexibility to work out and to eat in a way mm. that suits their lifestyle. Amazing, amazing. So you do the meal preparations, the techniques, and you customize workouts depending on your client. So how it works is um, we have online sessions okay. with the clients and there's six sessions a day throughout the week. So. We target specifically busy moms, so it gives them the opportunity to come to a session that fits their schedule. Right. There's more beginners and there's more kind of advanced style training. Mm. So there's something for everyone. Um, we give them a suggestion for cardio, for steps. They can swim, they can walk, they can run, mm. based on their ability levels and what they want. So okay. it's always about what the client wants, right. not what we want. Okay, and does metabolism calculation takes part in all of this? So, of course, we'll calculate calories and everyone's diet's different. Right. One thing that is super important to us is no low calories. No low calories. No. I wish I heard that years ago. Um, a lot of girls come to us, they're on a thousand calorie diets, 1,200. Wow. And it slows their metabolism down. Interesting. To the point where they've no energy, it messes with their hormones. Right. And they've got stubborn fat they can't get rid of. Okay. The first thing we do is hike their calories up as high as possible, um, kickstart their metabolism, give okay. them more food than they're <laughs> used to eating, so they're not inclined to binge eat or overeat. Okay. It gives them flexibility to eat chocolate, bread, tasty things. Heaven. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then we kind of cut a little bit from there because okay. we need a high starting point um, to start off their diet. Amazing, amazing. Now, a lot of your clients, I assume they're mothers, right? And especially in today's world, um, there's a lot going on. You know, it's the world's going to a radical transition. Everything is so fast. So being a working mom as well and you know they have to take care of the house and all of this so how do you you know pretty much help them with their lifestyle so firstly it's about flexibility okay and letting that mom take control i understand that she's busy she's got homeschooling things right. happen the kids might get sick corona mm. that's why we have six sessions a day so she can drop in from 8 a.m up mm. to 6 p.m okay and the sessions are recorded also so right. it gives her full flexibility with her schedule mm. um, we give her tons of support so there's actually myself hannah and another girl carla okay um, we all work together if she's upset, if she needs to talk, if she needs a Zoom session, wow. if she needs a coffee with their mindset, um, and everything's confidential. We keep everything completely confidential. That's something I'm really strict about because they amazing. trust in us and they right. confide in us. Right. Um, we've got a really amazing community of women that support each other and we have social events, obviously outdoors mm. yeah. and Corona permitting, right. and we'll have a run once a week. So. It's getting this community of women together wow. and it's really special because they're all on a similar journey. Right. And lastly, it's educating these women to make sustainable choices. Hmm. 
they feel lost. They're on meal prep companies. Right. They're overeating or undereating, keto, all of these things. <laughs> yeah. And we basically teach them how to eat their favorite food that fits around their family mm. and their kids, that's sustainable for them and their future, healthy habits they can implement with their husband right. and with their kids. Amazing. This is just way too good to be true at some point. I mean, you're there as a friend, as a coach, as a therapist sometimes, right? We're everything. <laughs> you're everything. And it's just amazing how he gave us your journey in the beginning. It's like you came from a long way of a lot of challenges, obstacles, and you went through a lot. But now you're this coach that everybody goes to and just feel comfortable. And at the same time, you change lives. So this is such a great story right here. And we are so blessed to hear it from you. Now, anything you want to add on? Like, you know, last words to your viewers, an advice, a thing, a quote? So basically, don't wish for it, work for it. Don't wish for it, work um, for it. Anything is achievable. Yeah. Anything was, is within your reach with the right guidance, with the right support and with the right mindset. Mm. There's a lot of super confusing information out there right. online, low calorie diets. Mm. The best thing you can do instead of struggling for years, come to us. 12 weeks, we can get you in amazing shape, wow. give you the guidance, give you the support you need to drop 10 kilos or long term 15, 20 kilos and give you that support and care you need to get it off and keep it off for good. Amazing, amazing. Well, Gemma, thank you so much for this inspirational talk. And I can only see right now, a lot of people are just smiling, just listening to this story. It's been a great pleasure having you right here you on so Bahrain now. Definitely. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Don't wish for it, work for it. All that took place with an interview with Gemma right here on Bahrain now. Ladies and gentlemen, to another very exciting yet interesting segment. The Gulf Institute of Culinary Arts, the GICA, is launching a national campaign through which it will offer support and educate 50 Bahraini students in their international culinary program. Bahraini culinary enthusiasts will also be offered an exceptional opportunity to obtain a professional international diploma with guaranteed employment. And to speak more about that, we are joined in the studio by junior culinary instructor at the GICA, Ms. Manal al -Fayez. Well, good evening, Manal. How are you? Good evening. I'm really good. Thank you. How are you? I am very excited. You know, culinary education and all of that, and the statement was pretty strong, guaranteed employment. Oh, yes. But, you know, aside that, tell us more about yourself. So, my name is Manal al -Fayez. Uh I am... Bahraini, born and raised. I started my culinary journey at Le Cordon Bleu in Turkey, mm. and I shifted to uh, Switzerland, where I got my bachelor's degree in culinary arts management. Wow. And I got a wonderful opportunity at the Ritz in the United States. And then I wanted to reconnect to my mother cuisine in Bahrain. Amazing. So I took an amazing job at the Gulf Hotel, and I got hired at uh, Gulf Institute of Culinary Arts. Uh, back in 2020 wow. uh, and yeah here I am amazing amazing uh -huh. wow let me just let me pretty much regain what I heard here mm -hmm. Turkey Switzerland yes. States Bahrain oh well, yeah welcome back yes thank <laughs> you it's <laughs> no, good to be back we missed you yeah. <laughs> I missed you. I missed oh, Bahrain too so you spent time in Gulf Hotel mm -hmm. and then you got hired by the GICA yes so now pretty much as you took this amazing journey mm -hmm. in the culinary arts and now joined the GICA so over there, you're more like an instructor, right? Yes, I am. Tell uh -huh. me more about that. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, at Gulf Institute of Culinary Arts, um, uh, which is, by the way, the only culinary arts school here in Bahrain, mm. uh, it's, it's really great because uh, back when I was uh, getting ready to go to culinary school, mm. I never had this opportunity to study in Bahrain. Right. So uh, it's really right. awesome having this here totally. in Bahrain. <laughs> I, I totally agree. I think if this was an option for me, mm -hmm. like let's say 
20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not that young or old, <laughs> but anyway, um, I would actually consider this, mm -hmm. definitely. And now things are just even growing and growing more. When it comes to culinary arts, there's more respect to it, there's more appreciation For to sure. the art itself. Mm -hmm. People understand that, you know, certain cuisines takes more time, mm -hmm. not only months, but maybe even years, depending sure. on the cuisine. So I guess GICA came at the right time. Yes. And now we have a national campaign. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Uh, well, this national campaign is called 50 Bahraini Chefs, and it has been launched since uh, December of last year, okay. 16th of December, actually, of last year. Oh, on the national day. Yes, in <laughs> correlation with the 50th anniversary of Bahrain's May. National Day, oh, which okay. is super cool. I mean, <laughs> and uh, this campaign is uh, uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of uh, Sports and Youth, okay. uh, the Dividend Gate Capital and the Domain Hotel. Uh, and it mainly focuses on hiring and educating 50 Bahraini um, interested candidates. Um, and uh, GICA will be kind of like the binding force between the student and the sponsor. I, it's just, oh my God, it's just music to my ears. <laughs> 50 students, 50 people interested in the field itself, and we're yes. gonna have 50 talented chefs <laughs> around Bahrain, yes. just adding more value, more color to the <laughs> culinary art. This is amazing. So now as I'm hearing all of this, and I feel uh, a little bit jealous, <laughs> it's like, but I can still join, right, if I want For to. For sure, you can, yes. So what kind of classes do you offer there in GICA? So at GICA, we are actually affiliated with the Australian College of Trade. Okay. Uh, and we are actually considered as one of their uh, campuses. Uh, we offer two different certificates, Certificate 3 and Certificate 4, okay. uh, where we see it as uh, a way to kickstart your culinary journey mm. uh, th uh, through practical and theoretical classes. I love this. So pretty much I will go there, I would learn more about the science of the cuisines and the dishes and the culinary art itself mm. and then put that into action. Exactly. So, okay, do you have short classes? Yes, we do for sure. Uh, we have a studio kitchen where we offer short entertainment courses mm. uh, where our in-house chefs are able to offer or any guest chefs coming from Bahrain or internationally. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. You can actually get a diploma in culinary arts. How beautiful is that? A How certificate. Phenomenal. A certificate? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> We're getting a little bit higher with yes. the educational part here. <laughs> now, question. As things are getting more serious with culinary arts and cuisines, and we have more chefs pretty much building names for themselves, you know, whether it's from a local base or being a hobby, and now people pretty much uh, learning, whether it's GICA or other places and bakery and other stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think is happening here in Bahrain when it comes to culinary altogether? Mm -hmm. Where are we at right now and where are we heading? Mm -hmm. Well, um, that's a really great question, actually. Uh, I think that uh, Bahrain and the Middle East in general is uh, ever growing and thriving in the hospitality and the culinary industry. And that obviously comes hand in hand with the demand for educated uh, individuals. Mm. Uh, and uh, we really do believe that uh, at GICA, we are capable of graduating such students uh, uh, and uh, actually having them to take on managerial positions. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I mean, I can only see what's going to happen here. We're going to have more educated uh, chefs pretty much spread out on Bahrain and adding more color to the cuisines that we have here in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. So 50 students, 50 students will be studying and will be educated and will be certified mm -hmm. by the GICA to go out there pretty much sponsored and supported by Bahrain's government itself. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. It is. Now, any last words you want to tell to your viewers? Uh, I just wanted to thank you for having me uh, at this wonderful it's interview. It's a great pleasure. Uh, and I'd like to send out uh, an invitation to any uh, interested individual or even sponsor to come mm. and visit us at GICA uh, or even come and pick up one of the classes at our studio kitchen and enjoy their day over there. I will definitely look into that, and I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in that. Well, Manal, this has been a great pleasure, and we can't wait to see what's going to happen with Bahrain's culinary future with GICA. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Most definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. 
Bahrain's culinary art is going to just up their game with GICA. All that took place with an interview with Menon right here on Bahrain Now. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed that episode as much as I did. Don't forget to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below and stay tuned for more happenings right here on Bahrain Now. I'm Bara Abdullah. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless.